The Top 6 Revolvers of All Time The revolver is a firearm that has stood the test of time. With a rich history that continues to captivate gun enthusiasts and collectors alike, its significance in shaping the American West and beyond is well known. However, with so many revolvers throughout history, it can be challenging to discern which ones left their mark on the revolver landscape. Hello everyone, this is Keeley from Line 45. In this video, I have compiled the list of the six best revolvers ever made. These models are renowned for their exceptional quality and have paved the way for modern revolver designs. Even in a world dominated by semi-automatic pistols, these classic firearms continue to hold their own. Whether you're a seasoned revolver enthusiast or a newcomer to the firearm world, this list is sure to pique your interest and provide valuable insight into the world of revolvers. Before we start, make sure that you hit that like and subscribe buttons, it helps the channel a lot. Now, let's get back to the video. Smith & Wesson's 357 Magnum Model 27 Picture yourself back in the thrilling years of 1935 when Smith & Wesson decided to unleash an absolute beast onto the firearm scene. Behold, the deluxe revolver that graced the mighty 44 frame, presenting shooters with a cornucopia of tantalizing features that were bound to make their trigger fingers tingle with excitement. Prepare to have your aim fine-tuned to perfection as this masterpiece sported fully adjustable rear sights. No more guessing games or settling for less than stellar accuracy. Oh no, this revolver was equipped with a post-front sight ensuring your targets would quiver in fear as you zeroed in with uncanny precision. But wait, there's more. Embracing innovation, this revolver boasted the stylus and ergonomic Magnus style grips, offering a grip so comfortable and secure that it felt as if the gun melded seamlessly with your very soul. And let's not forget about the exceptional heat treating, ensuring that this bad boy could withstand the fiercest battles and remain faithful by your side. Now, my friends, let's talk about the piece of the resistance, the 357 Magnum chambering. Prepare to have your mind blown as you witness the sheer power and energy packed into this cartridge. Brace yourselves, for the 357 Magnum delivers a mind-boggling dose of energy, effectively doubling the might of its predecessor. This revolutionary leap in power catapulted the revolver to heights never before seen achieving astonishing long-range accuracy records that stretched a mind-numbing 600 yards. As time marched on, and in 1957 rolled around, Smith & Wesson unveiled a new numbering system that granted the 357 Magnum the illustrious Model 27 designation. The prestigious title bestowed upon it a legacy of greatness. The Model 27, available in a plethora of configurations, catered to the desires of gun aficionados with barrel lengths ranging from 3.5 to 8.38 inches. Nickel finish, stainless steel, and even eight shot versions tantalized the senses and left shooters salivating for a taste of this magnum opus. Colt Python. Ah, the roaring 1930s. A time of fervent innovation and relentless experimentation in the realm of revolvers. Both Smith and Wesson and Colt spared no effort in their quest to refine and elevate their handguns to new heights. Modifications ran rampant as these revered manufacturers sought to push the boundaries of performance. Intriguingly, the handguns of this era underwent a transformation that saw the birth of short actions. This groundbreaking development, later embraced by Smith & Wesson in their post-war production revolvers, brought forth a new era of speed and efficiency in revolver manipulation. Coupled with the inclusion of special sights and barrel ribs, these modified revolvers exuded an air of bespoke craftsmanship and unrivaled attention to detail. Not to be outdone, Colt set forth on their own path of innovation, crafting a super custom revolver that would leave an indelible mark on firearm history. Behold, the magnificent Colt Python, an absolute gem that effortlessly ascends to the top of my personal favorites list. Oh, how I relish the opportunity to carry and unleash the Python's formidable prowess, for it is a revolver that embodies the pinnacle of accuracy among the classics. With each squeeze of the trigger, a symphony of smoothness unfolds, as the python's action glides with a grace that is simply unrivaled. Cradling this masterpiece in my hand, I am immediately struck by its perfect balance and ergonomic design. The 41 size frame, lighter than its Smith & Wesson end frame counterpart, strikes a delicate equilibrium between weight and manageability, deftly absorbing the recoil unleashed by the mighty 357 Magnum cartridge. 
Colt Detective Special Fitz Fitzgerald, a seasoned Colt employee, not only trained numerous shooters but also tinkered with revolver modifications. In the early 1920s, Fitz recognized that the advent of modern mechanized police forces and the rise of automobiles rendered the once prevalent heavy, long-barreled revolvers obsolete. Lawmen like Bat Masterson had already requested and received shorter Colt Single Action Army SAA, revolvers, and in the rough border towns of the 1920s, Tom Three Persons relied on his trusty four and three quarter inch revolver. Fitz firmly believed that a larger caliber revolver with a compact barrel was the optimal solution. While Fitz's work primarily revolved around big bore handguns, it also birthed the iconic Colt Detective Special. Prior to its introduction in 1926, individuals seeking a concealed carry revolver had to settle for underpower 32s and 38 short caliber options. However, Colt changed the game with the Detective Special. This compact revolver, derived from the Police Positive Special, boasted a shortened barrel and chambered the power of a 38 Special cartridge. What set the Detective Special apart from other small revolvers were its exceptional action, compact size, ergonomic handling, and superior sights. The new revolver proved to be as easy to handle and shoot accurately as most 4-inch barrel revolvers. Captivating the hearts of discerning handgun enthusiasts, although it had long been discontinued, the Detective Special retains its allure and remains a coveted classic in the firearms world. If you're willing to invest, the Detective Special offers excellent value for its price and stands as a timeless gem sought after by collectors and aficionados alike. Colt 1851 Navy Prepare to immerse yourself in the captivating design of the Colt 36 Navy Revolver, a true masterpiece known for its impeccable balance and exceptional handling. This legendary firearm was not only beloved by Wild Bill Hickok, but also found favor among numerous cavalry officers, who praised its reliability, accuracy, and effectiveness at short range. In my extensive testing, I've discovered that the soft 375-inch ball used in the Colt Navy has a remarkable similarity to a modern 38 Special hollow point ammunition when it comes to expansion. However, it's worth noting that the caliber's effectiveness diminishes significantly beyond 100 yards, making it less than ideal for engagements against mounted adversaries. During the tumultuous times of the Civil War and the intense conflicts on the plains, battles often resulted in more horses than men being slain. It was in these fierce gunfights that the Colt Navy truly shone, earning its reputation as the quintessential gunfighter's weapon. Its legacy endured for many years, and even in the early 1900s, it continued to captivate the imaginations of budding shooters like legendary Elmer Keith. It's important to recognize that the Colt Navy holds a pivotal place in firearm history. Without the groundbreaking Navy model, Colt's unparalleled success may never have come to fruition. While the original models may be difficult to find, enthusiasts can still experience the magic of this iconic revolver through modern replicas offered by Traditions Firearms. So, whether you're a history buff, a seasoned collector, or an aspiring gunslinger, the Colt 36 Navy remains an emblem of excellence and a testament to the ingenuity of its creators. Step into the footsteps of legends and relish in the storied heritage of the Colt Navy. 1917 Model Revolvers Let's delve into the fascinating realm of Model 1917's both occult and Smith & Wesson variants, as we explore their shared characteristics and performance. These two revolvers can be considered on par with each other when it comes to their capabilities. Seasoned shooters may exhibit a preference for one's action over the other in combat situations, but practically speaking, there is nothing one revolver can't do that the other cannot. Now, let's rewind the clock to World War I. The United States found itself facing a perilous shortage of 1911-45 automatic pistols as the conflict unfolded. The sheer magnitude of arming a million-man army made it impossible for Colt and its subcontractors to ramp up production sufficiently. Coincidentally, both Smith & Wesson and Colt were actively manufacturing large-frame revolvers chambered in the 455 Webley cartridge to supply the British forces. Adapting these revolvers for the 45 ACP cartridge became a logical solution. However, the challenge lay in extracting and ejecting a rimless cartridge. Enter the ingenious solution of the thin sheet metal clip, designed specifically for efficient ejection of the 45 ACP cartridge. The outcome? The fastest loading and unloading revolver ever created. Smith & Wesson modified their hand ejector to accommodate the 45 ACP, while Colt transformed their new service in a similar fashion. 
These revolvers were eventually declared surplus after the war, though many found themselves stored away only to resurface during World War II. From the Border Patrol and local law enforcement agencies to post office workers, federal agents, and outdoor enthusiasts, these revolvers found practical utility in the hands of various individuals. Remarkably, they remain reliable and functional firearms to this day. Additionally, the 45 auto rim cartridge emerged as the solution, allowing the firing of standard revolver cartridges in the 1917's 45 ACP cylinder. The 255 grain Buffalo bore load, with its impressive velocity of 923 feet per second, delivers potent power and proves well suited for hunting endeavors. These Model 1917 revolvers continue to embody a rich history and serve as a versatile tool for various applications. Colt 1873 Single Action Army the Colt SAA is still highly sought after, in production, and a variable outdoors or home defense handgun for those that are familiar with the type. Most of the rimfire calibers and the early centerfire cartridges were less powerful than the Colt 1860 Army. The Army needed a cartridge capable of dropping an Indian war pony at 100 yards. The 45 Colt cartridge answered the challenge. With a 255 grain bullet at 900 feet per second from a 7.5 inch barrel, the 45 Colt was the most formidable handgun cartridge of the day. Early loads differed in bullet weight and exact powder charge. The SAA or Peacemaker was still in use at least as late as 1950s in the hands of Western lawmen. It was a favored handgun of Lawrence Arabia, General MacArthur, and General Patton, not to mention Frank Hammer and Lone Wolf Gonzalez. All used the Peacemaker as it was meant to be used. The Colt SAA is remarkably robust. It seldom gives trouble and is accurate enough for most chores. The balance is excellent. The Colt has been copied many times, most of the time cheaply, but only the Colt has the heritage. Interestingly, the SAA actually saw little wartime service, save for planes use, until the Philippines action when it was brought back into service to replace the practically worthless Colt 1892-38. The Colt SAA-45 was a man-stopper then, and it still is today. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more gun videos like this, just click the subscribe button and notification bell. Take care and stay safe.